Hello YouTube, thanks for supporting my channel K9AT, Dave here. Here's another video about the Evolve 3 laptop, but with a twist. The advertised price is $79, but if you ask a cashier at Micro Center, they can reduce the price to $49 by having you sign up to be a Micro Center member. This membership has no recurring annual fee, but they just want your email so they can send you promotional material. Now while there's a lot of videos out there about this laptop, I'm going to focus in on specifically the modem card that's inside. I say that because there's different versions of this laptop that have the card, other versions don't have the card, and still other versions don't have the connector to have the card. I hope you follow all that. Taking this laptop apart is not that scary. Please observe static precaution and use a static strap when opening any static sensitive device like this laptop. There are two sets of screws, one longer than the other. And in the picture, I'll point out the longer and shorter screws. Once these are removed, you can simply remove the back cover by prying gently on the snaps and then you'll have access to the inside of the laptop. You can see if the modem card is installed by opening it up physically and seeing if it's installed. Or an easier way would be to go to the device manager and see if the device appears in the list. If it has a modem card, you can use the modem with a data subscription, and I'll cover that later. Or remove it and swap the modem card for a second larger hard drive. When swapping the modem card for the second hard drive, you'll want to physically open up the laptop and observe the connector before ordering the second hard drive. The edge connector can have either one or two notches on the connector. In my case, as shown in the picture, it only has one notch. You'll want to physically verify this because both options are available on Amazon. They are available in up to one terabyte, so after installing it, you'll have 64 gig hard drive on the C drive, and then the newly installed hard drive up to one terabyte will be the new D drive. You'll need to do the standard procedure under computer management in Windows for the drive to appear. If you want to keep the modem card but want more storage than the 64 gigs that comes standard on the C drive, another option is installing for additional storage a micro SD card and it goes into the SD card slot on the right side of the computer. As Josh says in his funny Evolve 3 video over and over, it's not the very fastest, so don't expect to run games on it. And hey, it's a $49 laptop. But you know, while it's not really fast, that works to your advantage in that slower CPUs don't require as much battery power. Realistically, after the Windows 10 Pro installation and all of the subsequent Windows updates you'll have to do, you're left with around 25 gigs of the 64 gig total. So this is where you have to get real with your expectations of what to install on this laptop and what you really want to use it for. As a ham radio operator, I chose to install WSJTX or FT8. I install it, but don't use FT8 regularly, so I can't comment on the FT8 performance with this laptop. I installed Hammer's program, which is a wonderful POTA program, especially with an activated data modem. More on this later. I installed Mozilla Firefox because I like that browser better than Microsoft Edge. I then installed all the RT Systems programs, saving these all to the Dropbox in the cloud. 
I then installed a second copy of all the RT Systems programs on my main computer and that's where I edit the data files. I then save them to the Dropbox. I did this so I can have a large screen, a full-size keyboard, and a mouse rather than the trackpad on the Evolve 3. And then I use the Evolve 3 laptop as a computer to bring to the radios wherever the radios are installed, such as cars or campers. By the way, this doesn't violate the licensing terms if RT Systems is installed on two computers as long as you own a copy of the program. So after all of these programs are installed, I was left with nine gigabytes. Well, this is enough hard drive space in case I need to have it for virtual memory or whatever else comes along. In my scenario, I chose to keep the modem card installed instead of removing it to create the drive D. My main cellular provider is Verizon, so I called them up and asked them to add this laptop to my account. Well, they said sorry. They no longer support laptops. Other than cell phones, they support only watches and tablets. So I said okay and went on to AT&T. Same thing, only cell phones, watches, and tablets. So at this point, I was flummoxed. Is this modem card now obsolete? Well, in desperation, I clicked on the modem in the wireless page, and voila, T-Mobile service popped up. Aha! I figured out a carrier that I can approach to activate the modem card. I don't know if this is the only carrier, but it's the one I went with. Armed with this discovery that the T-Mobile card is the only card, I went to the T-Mobile page and I learned if I activate this device online, I wouldn't have to pay the $35 activation fee. So I didn't go to the T-Mobile store. I said great and proceeded to activate the modem card on their website. Well, it wasn't a pleasant experience and I'll leave it at that. So after a couple of hours on the phone and including the whole time, I gave them the required information to set up the account. Eventually I was all set up and they mailed me the SIM card. From my personal experience, if you decide to activate your modem card, with T-Mobile, they require the following information. Your social security number, your email address, your billing address, your driver's license, and they require running a credit report, so they require running a credit check on you. So if you've got a freeze on your three credit agencies, you have to do a temporary lift of the freeze so that they can run the credit check. A day will typically work for lifting the freeze. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to reach out to the three credit reporting agencies, TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian, and freeze your credit accounts ASAP to prevent home title theft. And finally, when they ask for a credit card, give them your debit card instead of your credit card. Otherwise, they'll charge you an extra $5 a month for paperless billing. By the way, they don't have a web form for you to provide these details. You need to talk to a live agent and give them all of these pieces of information. Finally, make sure all your credit lifts are in place before you call them. Here's the prices for the data service. Two gigs of data, $10 a month, 5 gigs of data, $20 a month, 50 gigs of data, $50 a month. And these are the actual rates. All fees are included in the monthly bill. And when you run out of data on your plan, they don't assess you overage charges. They just throttle your speed back. But you're still connected to T-Mobile Data Service. Realistically, if I'm just using T-Mobile data service for my QRZ connection within Hammer's program, that's a tiny bit of data that will come through even when I'm throttled back. So in the back of your minds, you're thinking, okay, Dave, why don't you just use your hotspot on your Verizon phone and connect to the laptop with the Wi-Fi? 
and skip all of this grief? <laughs> well, glad you asked. Well, there's a method to my madness. My wife and I are campers, and as good as Verizon Surface is, sometimes it doesn't work in all locations. So T-Mobile is my plan B, internet, when the Verizon is not so hot so. Also, since it's a SIM and not an eSIM, I can simply pop out the SIM card and put it in my much faster CPU and cellular capable iPad Pro that has a much better screen than the Evolve 3. You can also change your plans month to month, so when it's camping season, I can increase the data plan, and when it's winter, I can drop it down to the 2 gig plan. They have no contracts, so you can go month to month. Well, they say the devil's in the details. I went pretty granular in this video, but I wanted to share some ideas with the specifics about the modem card in the Evolve 3. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel and click that bell to receive notifications for my next upcoming videos. And finally, thanks for spending your most valuable resource with me, your time. As always, Best73, K918.